Marijuana Doctors proudly presents Weed Watch, your weekly dose of cannabis news. Our top stories this week. Cannabis oil activist Shona Banda was arrested on the 24th of May when her son defended medical marijuana in a drug education class in Kansas. The 11-year-old disagreed with some major issues that the drug counselor had to say and in turn the school notified the CPS which in turn notified the police. At 3 p.m. they knocked on Shona's door requesting to search her home. She refused to let them in without a search warrant of which they obtained three hours later. According to a police spokesperson, they found evidence of drug use within the house. Shona has been treating her Crohn's disease successfully with cannabis oils and have long been an advocate for medical marijuana. Currently, her own son was granted temporal custody to her ex-husband after being detained by CPS without parental consent. We'll provide an update on this story later this week. Meanwhile, tomorrow is the hallowed 420, a day where cannabis smokers from all over the world come together in public defiance of antiquated cannabis laws. This year, all over the country, there will be mass gatherings of cannabis smokers who will listen to good music, mingle with other activists, and of course, smoke quality cannabis. Some of the biggest events this year will be located in Denver, Colorado, Seattle, Washington, New York, and all over California, specifically the Bay Area. Find out more about specific events by clicking the link in the description. Then, Governor Nathan Deal signed legislation Thursday that immediately legalizes the use of medical marijuana in Georgia to eight serious medical conditions. Sponsored by State Representative Alan Peake, a Republican from Macon, the new law makes it legal for people to possess up to 20 ounces of fluid cannabis oil. The cannabis oil can contain no more than 5% tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the psychoactive agent. Finally, a federal judge in California declined Wednesday to remove marijuana from the list of most dangerous drugs, disappointing activists who saw the case as a chance to get closer to their goal of nationwide legalization. U.S. District Judge Kimberly Mueller said during a brief court hearing that she was initially prepared to rule that marijuana should not be a Schedule 1 drug, but then decided it was up to Congress to change the law if it wishes. It has been 45 years since Congress passed the Controlled Substance Act, Mueller said, noting the landscape has changed since then. However, the judge pointed out that courts are not designed to act as maker of public policy and explained that she had made her decision based on the facts of the marijuana growing case that sparked the legal challenge. This is not the court and this is not the time to overturn federal law she said. And that's it for your weekly dose of cannabis news. Tune in next week for more Weed Watch.